Happy New Year everybody! It's 2021! And go figure, we're greeted with West Coast rain that was expected. We actually have like a rainfall warning too. So just to show you how much more, I guess, downpour we're gonna get. Normally during the New Year, I'd be capturing something like those polar bear swims, going on I guess like a crazy hike or something just to celebrate the New Year's, but we still have all that no gathering and all that, events cancelled, so we're not quite there yet I guess you could say in terms of being normal. I guess for this year though, looking forward to things like that CES as usual, just to see all the new tech. I think I'm semi prepared for hard drive space this year, have things like a 16 terabyte drive, man. Even using that new Mini 2, even though it's only in 4K because of the bitrate, it's so much higher, it takes up so much memory. But for the New Year's, it'll be interesting to see what happens with drone regulations. Will people be barred from flying this stuff? Too much remote ID restrictions and all that? And as we all know, some companies in the US, they're celebrating the fact that this remote ID and stuff is here. But funny enough, reading this, there's actually companies like Google that hate, I guess you could say, the new regulations for remote ID. This one says, Alphabet Unit Wing blasts new US drone ID rules citing privacy. Alphabet Inc's drone delivery unit Wing criticized Trump administration rules issued this week mandating broadcast based remote identification of drones, saying they should be revised to allow for internet based tracking. On Monday, the Federal Aviation Administration issued rules that will allow small drones to fly over people and at night in the United States and mandate remote identification technology for nearly all drones. The rule eliminates requirements that drones, known formally as unmanned aerial vehicles, be connected to the internet to transmit location data, but requires them to broadcast remote ID message via radio frequency broadcasts. And they say here, quote, This approach creates barriers to compliance and will have unintended negative privacy impacts for businesses and consumers, Wing said Thursday in a blog post, adding, an observer tracking a drone can infer sensitive information about specific users, including where they visit, spend time, and live, and where customers receive packages from and when. So that's kind of interesting because recreational flies were saying this is a bad idea. Give people your exact locations, you'll get robbed and all that. And they're basically saying from their ends, even delivering packages. Imagine people being able to whip up the smartphones like, whoa, who's this package for? Where did they come from? That's actually crazy. Wing added that American communities would not accept this type of surveillance of their deliveries or taxi trips on the road. They should not accept it in the sky. Wing called on the FAA to expand ways operators can comply with ID requirements. Now they do mention about how there were 50,000 people that commented about the road IDs and so forth. Although I would be inclined to say they probably just ignored it. It's probably just due to formality saying, you have to quote, listen to what the public says. I actually remembered early on this wing company were actually one of the few who said they believe recreational flyers should be separated because you shouldn't stifle things like creativity with all this. I guess you could say remote ID and stuff like that or barriers as if they are some kind of company. With that, kind of the odd thing is apparently it says here, unless it's just taken out of context, it says DJI supports this. It says Chinese drone maker SC DJI Technology Co. said this week it quote has long supported the FAA's remote ID initiative because it will enhance drone accountability, safety and security. We are reviewing the final rule to understand how DJI can take steps towards complying with the FAA's upcoming requirements. Man, this kind of reminds me of that drone to phone thing. Do you guys remember that? What a disaster that was in terms of that idea. Nobody liked it from what I saw anyways. But it makes you wonder, again, maybe it's just taken out of context, but wouldn't a company like DJI, shouldn't they be in the forefront of saying, no, don't do this. Recreational flyers should be completely separate and all that. Big packages and stuff, big drones, huge difference. I said it once and I'll say it again. People keep saying things like, oh, it's like a license plate and all that. The cars in the road, pedestrians, cyclists, etc., etc., they're all treated differently. Again, bicycle riders don't have license plates. There has to be clear distinctions on how people are using, let's say, the quote, airspace like a road. Comes down to basic traffic management, in my opinion. Just saying, oh, slap all these laws, put in all these remote ideas. It just feels like it's a lazy way, actually, in terms of trying to regulate things to make it safe, if that's what you want to say.
Squirrels don't eat mushrooms, do they? See you guys later. <laughs>